What's going on guys? It's Dramon. Welcome back to another episode of NBA Kicks. Today we have a very special top 15 episode because we all know last week was Christmas. So that means we had a ton of special edition Christmas sneakers and we just thought 10 slots was just too little. So I upped it to 15 and we also have some special NBA Kicks related news. If you've been paying attention for the past couple of weeks or so, Luka Doncic has been wearing different shoes from various companies because he was a sneaker free agent. But last week, it's official. He has signed a deal with Jordan Brand, which is very exciting news because remember, not only do they have one of the best young stars in the league with Luka Doncic, but in the offseason, they signed Zion Williamson and Jason Tatum, and they still have guys like Russell Westbrook and Chris Paul carrying the torch for Jordan Brand. So it looks like Jordan is really looking to dominate the next generation of superstars. Let me know in the comment section below if you think Luka Doncic is going to get his own Jordan Brand signature sneaker. I would love nothing more than that to happen. I mean, you guys know me. Luka is my guy. I'm half Slovenian, so to see a guy who's from Slovenia get his own signature sneaker would be pretty awesome, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Enough talk. Let's get straight to the kicks. Yeah. Starting off the list at number 15, we have Fred Van Vliet with this colorway of the and one attack low. So last week was Christmas and Fred Van Vliet was one of the many players in the league that had the honor of playing on Christmas Day and he did so with this crazy loud colorway of an and one silhouette. Leaning heavily on the Christmas theme here, this colorway is honestly kind of crazy and it has a lot going on for it, but when you really think about it, it looks just like a Christmas ornament and I think that's what they're going for here. So while I personally wouldn't rock these, they're just a little too loud. I would definitely hang them on my Christmas tree and that's enough to get a spot on this week's list. Next up at number 14, we have Drew Holiday with a custom colorway of the Nike Kyrie 6. Drew Holiday has been the center of attention when it comes to trade rumors so far this season, but before you drop a comment letting me know where you think he'll end up, check out his custom pair of Kyrie 6s which has a super LA vibe. Drew is from Chatsworth, California, which resides in the San Fernando Valley, as you can see here with a graphic on the upper, which is complemented by some vibrant fades as well as some hand-drawn elements that fit right in with the overall theme. Alright, now you can tell me where you think Drew Holiday should be traded. My vote is for the Miami Heat. What do you think? Coming in at number 13, we have Daniel Tice with a custom colorway of the Nike KD-12. Daniel Tice shows off his love for the Wolverine with this custom colorway of the KD-12s, which has a Logan walking into the sunset theme thanks to the sunset color scheme towards the back heel, while the forefoot is covered in black with some Bruce Lee inspired claw marks, and of course we have the Wolverine himself on the lateral heel, which isn't totally photoreal, looks kind of wonky, but it's still cool so here they are at number 13. Next up at number 12, we have Langston Galloway with another custom colorway of the LG92 from Q4 Sports. Well, here it is again, guys. Langston Galloway brings out yet another custom colorway of his indie signature model, but this time Langston keeps it festive with a colorway that I'm assuming is inspired by his favorite Christmas movie, Elf. The only thing that I would change about this colorway is the red elf font on the upper. We all know who Buddy the Elf is and we don't need big red letters to tell us so maybe I would have just got rid of that and added something else like the cast of characters throughout the entire movie that could be on here as well. But overall it's still a super unique custom that definitely gets you pumped for the holidays. Santa! Oh my god! Okay maybe not that excited. Next up at number 11 we have Justin Jackson with a new colorway of the Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro. Justin Jackson makes his debut on NBA Kicks this season with a blue colorway of the Kobe 4s, which is absolutely beautiful thanks to that awesome shade of blue which complements the red and black tones throughout the silhouette, but in a week that had a ton of Christmas themed sneakers, these Pro Tros stood out as a simple yet satisfying new colorway of an old classic. I'm also just partial to the Kobe 4s, but that's my problem, not yours. Coming in at number 10, we have Derrick Rose with this colorway of the Adidas Bros 10. Derrick Rose busts out a Miami Vice-like colorway of his 10 signature model, which uses a pink to black gradient fade on the upper, 
alongside a sky blue outsole and heel cup to complete the Miami Vice-like theme. It's pretty crazy to think that despite all of his career ups and downs, D-Rose is still getting new signature sneakers to this day, and this colorway of his 10th model is definitely one of its best, and that's why you're seeing it on this week's list. Next up at number 9, we have Gordon Hayward with a new colorway of the Anta GH1. Now recently, Anta sent me a pair of Gordon Hayward's first signature sneakers, which these actually came in one of the nicest shoebox that I've ever had. So if you haven't checked out that video, you're definitely missing out. However, Hayward was another one of those guys who had the honor of playing on Christmas Day, and he did so in this special Christmas colorway that has an ugly sweater-like vibe with that graphic on the overlay, but my favorite feature on these is the way Anta implemented their logo on the heel. It's just a unique placement that I really like, and overall, this is a very festive colorway that definitely deserves a spot on this list. But seriously guys, check out the unboxing of this video, the box is absolutely bananas. Next up at number 8, we have another Anta sneaker with this colorway of the Anta RR6. Rajon Rondo is another guy that you might not know has his own signature line with Anta, and in my opinion, his Christmas colorway is just a little more dynamic than Hayward's. Using an all-black upper, this colorway decides to put their holiday graphic on the midsole and the heel cup, which gives the sneaker some pop, as well as the hits of green and red throughout, and also you have a graphic on the midsole that says Merry Christmas, but at the end of the day, if I had to pick just one pair of Anta Christmas sneakers to add to my collection, I'm gonna go with Rajan's pair, because again, I just think it's a little more dynamic. Coming in at number 7, we have Marcus Smart with a custom colorway of the Puma Hardwood Clyde. Marcus Smart comes in hot with yet another Dragon Ball custom of one of the most prolific sneakers this season so far, the Hardwood Clyde from Puma. I really wanted to put these near the top of this week's list because that artwork that Cyrato put on the upper is just so clean. However, there are some elements on this custom that I feel like could have been a little more refined. For example, that green upper is clearly painted on and it's just a little rough around the edges. And we've also seen a ton of Dragon Ball customs on the court already. But at the end of the day, it's still a sweet sneaker and I just knew if I didn't put these on this week's list, Dragon Ball fans would be all over me. So here they are at number 7. Next up at number 6, we have Anthony Tolliver with the Christmas colorway of the Under Armour Curry 7. Unfortunately, Steph had to sit out this Christmas due to injury, but the Under Armour Christmas lineup was carried on with players like Anthony Tolliver, rocking what I think is just a flat-out clean colorway of the Curry 7, which is a shoe that I'm actually not a huge fan of, but when I saw these, I just thought it was a well-executed colorway, and the overall shape of the shoe complements the colorway as well, which is how it should be. So good job, Under Armour. You finally made a good Christmas colorway. Remember these? Yeah, don't do that again. Next up at number 5, we have LeBron James with this colorway of the Nike LeBron 17. So LeBron wore a few colorways during his Christmas Day game against the Clippers, which by the way was an awesome game, but the pair that he wore in the following game against the Blazers is by far the best of the three that he wore from last week. This orange, white, and black colorway of the LeBron 17s is clearly inspired by LeBron's stance that he's much more than an athlete, which is absolutely true. So it's great to see Nike and LeBron double down here with this colorway that has some special graphics on the shroud. And I actually think Nike should seriously consider dropping these because not only would it make a statement and inspire many across the globe, but it's also just a dope sneaker. So Nike, do the right thing and drop these bad boys on the sneakers app. Coming in at number 4, we have Michael Porter Jr. with a custom colorway of the Puma Clyde Hardwood. During the Christmas Day games, there were a ton of custom Pumas on the court. However, Michael Porter Jr.'s pair is by far the standout favorite thanks to its toned down colors, sharp graphics, and overall clean look that really showcases how awesome this silhouette really is. That's it. That's all I have to say about this shoe. It's awesome. Next up at number 3, we have Kawhi Leonard with a new colorway of the New Balance Omnis. This colorway uses a faded green and off-white color scheme alongside some intricate graphics on the collar and the branding, which is inspired by the king of all kings, Cash Money. This is one of those colorways that stands out thanks to its unique theme that doesn't overpower you. I mean, it's just a clean colorway that is something that I would wear both on and off the court, 
So huge shout out to New Balance because I think they're absolutely killing it with the colorways this season. They just gotta make it a lot easier for people to actually buy this shoe because that fake hype stuff where this shoe sells out in a matter of seconds, it just isn't cool. But it still is a dope sneaker, so that's why they made this week's list. Coming in as our runner up, we have Jamal Murray with a custom colorway of the Pro Model Retro from Adidas. So Adidas retro the Pro Model, which is one of those sneakers that is just iconic. However, I do think they should have added a drop in boost midsole to update the tech a bit. Regardless, it's still great to see such an iconic sneaker back on the court, especially in this amazing Christmas custom colorway worn by Nuggets guard Jamal Murray. This custom has Old St. Nick with his bag of presents and an arrow, which is perfect for a guy like Murray, who often celebrates his May threes with a bow and arrow celebration. But what I like most about this custom is its simplicity. At its core, it's just a white and black colorway with a unique graphic on the upper, and that's all you really need to stand out because this custom simplicity doesn't make it feel like a custom at all, but rather a legit retail colorway that Adidas made themselves. And that, my friends, is no easy feat. However, it wasn't the best Christmas sneaker worn on Christmas. Finally, at number one, we have Jason Tatum with this colorway of the Air Jordan 34. It's no secret, the Jordan 34 is my favorite sneaker of 2019. So when I saw JT's pair that he wore in Toronto, I was in love. This colorway uses a torn wrapping paper graphic throughout the entire silhouette in a red, green, and white color scheme to create what is one of the most unique Christmas sneakers that we've seen in quite a long time. We've been getting Christmas themed sneakers for over a decade now and it's getting harder and harder to stand out but Jordan Brand came correct this year with a solid theme that we have yet to see on the court. And that's why I put these at number one as the best sneaker worn in the NBA, not only on Christmas, but during week 10 of the 2019-20 regular season. If you got a pair of sneakers during Christmas, let me know what you got in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this episode, smash that like button because it helps us out a lot. My name is Jaron. It's Brigade having you. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.